to my channel another vlog another me don't forget to subscribe if you're not already click the like button comment below all of that no but for real like some of you have the cutest setups like in your tv with your little lights and you're watching me like that's so cute so today is saturday if you watched my last vlog i definitely had a lot of like which is kind of like off days so i want to make today really cute for myself i just did some yoga now i'm gonna go take a little walk through both cvs and starbucks i am almost out of like all my cerave products so i want to get at least a cleanser and a moisturizer and then i really want to try the new pistachio flavor from starbucks i saw some tiktoks of it so then i asked you guys on twitter if anyone had tried it and a bunch of you had most people said it was good and then this one girl said she got it hot and it was really gross so we're gonna try it y'all know what really be the little things in life so if uh new you know what coffee flavor is gonna bring me some joy these days? I'm gonna take that. I have a Fenty cold girl. I'm rushing around because you can only book the roof for an hour and it's already like 11.06, but they did not have any moisturizer, any CeraVe moisturizer. But I was finally able to find the hydrating hydrating cream to foam cleanser. If you don't know the regular one, the one that it has been in a lot of my reels, it's the cleanser for more acne prone skin instead of hydrating, instead of like more dry skin. It foams up and then the hydrating one, the regular one does not foam up. So this is like a new product. Finally trying this. And then I decided to get a mini got to be uh, like the glue for my eyebrows. I really want to try doing the feather brows again. And I've seen a lot of girls on TikTok use this so we're gonna try just got a uh, travel size i don't know if i would get again i wish i had some monk fruit syrup but uh it's all gone also the pistachio is a sauce which i guess makes sense but i didn't know that i thought it was gonna be like a syrup which i don't know if that would have even like changed anything but i don't know if i really like it i feel like the first sip i liked and now i'm kind of like i don't know I don't know if I need more of it to get the real flavor, but uh, just so you guys know, it is not vegan, it's not dairy free. And I kind of was assuming that, but I was still gonna try it just cause I feel like one pump of it, like that doesn't usually give me a stomach ache or like cause acne or anything. It's not like horrible, like I'm gonna drink it, but I don't think I would get it again. And just to recap, venti cold brew with a splash of oat milk, two pumps sugar-free vanilla, and then one pump of pistachio. Yeah, mm. So I put on my swimsuit. I'm gonna go try to take some pics on the roof. Let's go. What a beautiful day. So we have this and this. I'll link it down below. Our bullshit coffee and our phone. What more do you need? Let me get a thumbnail. Thank God I got a pic. Dude, it's hot as fuck. Let's guess what the temperature is. Also, I am in the direct sun, so. Also, I forgot my sunglasses. So, I like brought my book, but I guess I, I can't even read it, bitch. I swear it's the Mercury retrograde. It is currently 82 at 11 a.m. Like, I'm not complaining, but I'm a little worried about the um, world, like the earth dying. So back downstairs, I'm gonna have this lemon lime electrolyte and then this burrito bowl from yesterday. It was buy one, get one on Uber Eats. If you watched my last vlog, you know the vibes. I'm gonna sit on my couch and just kind of recoup, feel a little dehydrated and like, I haven't been in the sun like that in a while, man. Loki, I wanted to talk for a second. Well, let me get situated. Okay, well, that's great. I think it was Banana Dougie himself. Uh, I know a few other people have asked this as well. Basically how I maintain a work-life balance when essentially my work is my life. I would say I am pretty good at finding a balance naturally for myself like each day some days i have more to do than others and i mean it's not like it's not like social media is the hardest thing ever in terms of like i don't know manual labor or like i don't know but at the same time i feel like a lot of people want to do it and they start or they're new at it and they're like wow this is actually a lot more to keep up with than i thought so it's not like i'm like oh my god i have so much work to do every day but it's also like it does take effort and time and like there's a lot of different components that you know the viewer doesn't necessarily see etc whatever but with that being said i feel like it's something i really like to do so it usually doesn't always feel like work and for me i just try to have like normal work hours sometimes i get up at five and edit a video and that's like 
technically working, then it's like, okay, at 8 a.m. when maybe someone else is clocking in, then I'm like working out or taking a shower or like making my breakfast or whatever. So I think it helps me to have like a to-do list every day and kind of almost map out each week. And then y'all definitely see in my vlogs, the weekends I definitely try to relax. You know, in the old days I would go out on the weekends, see my friends. These days I, you know, take time to do relaxing things or clean my house or whatever. I won't work out necessarily, you know, I'll just try to chill a little bit more and like recoup. And I think just writing the waves of inspiration, you know, sometimes I feel like I have a lot of ideas for content, so I go with that and then sometimes I feel a little more stuck. So I just try to, you know, go live in the moment and like, yeah. So I hope that answers your question. I don't know, I just feel like maybe for someone who you know, can't stop working. You know, I'm a Taurus rising, not a Capricorn rising, so I really be chilling. I feel like I'm pretty good at trusting my intuition and like my body and knowing when to push myself and then knowing when I need to rest. So I think just listening to all of that. And if you don't work for yourself, if someone else like is telling you what to do, I feel like that can be a little bit more hard because it's like you're not on your own terms. You can't like necessarily always chill when you want to, but I don't know, trying and really taking time for yourself Especially these days, I just feel like there's so much added stress to our everyday lives. So, bitch, self-care is important. So let me know if you have any other, like if you want me to go more in depth about that or whatever. And let me know what you do to not burn out with anything. You know, it could be working out, eating healthy, work, school, whatever. I'm gonna eat this. It wasn't that good. It's from this place called Ocho. I honestly had higher hopes. Let me watch some vlogs and edit my pics from the roof. I don't know if I, I think I did tell y'all. I decided on weekends I'm allowed to work in bed, bring my laptop in bed, watch shows in bed, whatever. I normally never do that because I just really try to like, you know, differentiate between my sleeping, chill, resting area and I don't know, being in work mode. That's low key how I grew up too. Like we never had, low key we did not have a TV period for a while, but like we never had TVs in our rooms. Like I just feel like uh, it's unnecessary, especially with phones. I don't know, but if it's the weekend, bitch, whatever. So I've just been working on my merch designs and getting the website set up. And I think I'm about, I think they're ready like for me to order samples for myself so I can check it out IRL and then like take pics in it and get it all ready. But I don't know how long all of that's gonna take. So there's no like official, I don't know, like launch date or whatever. But I'm just so excited because I haven't had merch in a while. And even when Sonia and I had our clothing line together, I feel like that wasn't really like merch. You know, I feel like I haven't had like my own Stella Ray merch since 2015, honestly. If y'all remember those designs, let me know. I know probably a few of you still have. I'm just having a lot of fun. As I think I was talking about it in the last vlog, but it's been so fun just to work on the designs and like, I just hope y'all fuck with it because I fuck with it and this is stuff like I'm excited to wear myself. Bitch, it looks so good. Like, I'm so proud of me. It's literally hot as fuck. It got up to 90 today. Literally everyone on IG is like at the beach, fucking day drinking. Whether really like this makes me want to act up. Anyway. Oh, y'all hear that? If you're over 21, use my code down below for Wink. You can get four bottles of wine for the price of two. They're all really affordable and they have a really great variety. Not sponsored, but if you use my code, then you get four for the price of two and then I get credit so we can just all drink more. I was looking for something new to watch, so I found the perfect thing. It's this series on Netflix called Surviving Death, and it's kind of exactly what I'm in the mood for. This docuseries explores personal stories and research on near-death experiences. I'm like 10 minutes into the first episode, but hopefully it's interesting enough for me to talk about on the podcast, which I feel like would be kind of fun and different. Also, I just ordered a new book. I feel like having the podcast is, it's like a weekly check-in for me, so it kind of keeps me on top of like, reading a new book or like learning about something new or learning more about something that I'm interested in because it, I'm like, oh, I need to talk about it. But then it's also like beneficial for me and enriching my life, you know? Anyway, let me know if you've seen it, but yeah, just the first episode. So I'm gonna do this and then hopefully clean up a little bit tonight. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna do my nighttime skincare and I'm gonna give y'all my first impression of this. This is not a full skincare routine if you want that. Let me know, but I also did one on Instagram Reels. So if you just want really quick, like which products I use, etc., check that out. It looks so much more creamy than the other one. Like the other one is 
I don't have it, I literally ran out. But this one is just like a clear gel and the other hydrating one, the original is like kind of a white, like almost translucent. Like this looks like conditioner or something. It also feels like a lot, that's probably too much low key, but it feels a lot thicker than that other hydrating one. I like it. It feels like I'm actually washing my face. The other one I feel like would just like wash away so quickly. Yeah, this is definitely like a little bit more than I would normally use, but whatever. Yeah, I definitely think I like, please keep in mind, like it's not like, oh my God, I'm glowing. Like I literally have moisturizer on, but it definitely feels hydrating. What am I gonna do now, bitch? Oh, I wanted to chat with y'all. So I downloaded the astrology dating app that you may have heard about. In my mind, I was gonna do like a full video about it because I thought that'd be super cute and just like a good entertaining video. Low key, I feel like just because it's a newer app and it's not available everywhere. I don't know if there's just not that many people on it or what, but it's been kind of hard to like find people and match with people and start a conversation. So I feel like I can't really make a full video because it wouldn't be entertaining, but at least I can talk about it here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's called Struck. This really sounds like a um, like sponsorship, but it's not. Apparently it's a dating app based on astrology. So you put in your birth chart info and it matches you with people that like you would work well with based on your chart, but you only get four picks a day, which I guess promotes like less swiping and more like meaningful interactions. And yeah, like I haven't even messaged with anyone and I've had it for a few days. So that's why I'm like, I don't really know. But what I do like is that it has this little celebrity match finder. So it pairs you with a celebrity who you would like match with. And I got Dolly Parton, which I thought was so cool. And a little explanation as to why was like, really dope so just honestly download it just for that even if they don't have it in your area but yeah i wish i could do a whole video on it i just don't think it's like i don't know i would have to like really <laughs> bug people like let's let's facetime i'm making a youtube video and i just wasn't like that invested so comment down below your sun moon and rising and then also your mars and venus if you know it i think i'm gonna eat a snack i was watching that documentary then i was watching some stripper vlogs and then i started watching music videos i guess we'll eat a snack and do something but then i'll probably just head to bed excited for a sunday tomorrow i'm excited to deep clean and everything so i will see y'all then what's up y'all it is sunday it's like 1 p.m and i feel like i'm just starting my day my cramps this morning that's loud as fuck. I literally feel like I've had like a hungover day. Not in terms of like I feel hungover, but if you've ever had a hangover where like you literally can't do anything, I feel like for me that's usually like if I had to throw up or something, like at least the whole first part of my day is canceled. I went on my little walk, I came back and ate and like I was done. It felt like a lot to like put laundry in. So I took a bath and then I kind of did the trick yourself method because then I washed my hair and now I just feel so much better. So I'm gonna have some iced coffee, I think, and then eat some more right now because I haven't eaten in like a while. I haven't eaten since I last ate and then continue on with the rest of my regular Sunday activities, which today include deep cleaning. I mostly just have to do my bathroom in my kitchen because I did dust and vacuum in here the other day and do my sheets. I'm doing laundry right now. And then tonight is Your Honor, it's episode seven. So I'm gonna watch that and do my teeth whitening. I'm also gonna make pasta later, but right now I'm just, making some broccoli and having some leftover rice and beans. So that's my Sunday update. Also, I posted an IG today, so what um, what a productive day. <laughs> Just kidding. Also, I wanna show y'all. I went to look at my Struck app this morning and someone's literally trying to catfish Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> I'm not like a huge fan of him or anything, so I don't know. Like, for example, they put this like one emoji. So I went to his actual IG account. He has the same emoji in this. They only put one pic and the pic is also on his IG. Ask me about acting, France, any, why would you, like that's just like too obvious. Like if you're gonna catfish, at least use a random IG model, bro, you know? This looks really random, but <laughs> why is it built like that? Hot as fuck day, y'all. But I decided since I already kind of cleaned my room yesterday, like vacuuming, laundry, dusting, all that, I'm gonna go through my makeup. I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder. There's definitely part of me that's like, what if I need that? What if I need that? And it's like, I'm never gonna use it, but I just keep it around. I use this cardboard box to organize. Nothing's even in there. There's a lot of stuff that's just like empty, and I'm just like hoping it'll magically refill one day. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go through this and listen to my music.
proud of this, y'all. So this is all the lipsticks, and then this is all the glosses, and then some moisturizers, and then all the liners. This entire drawer was full of like two other boxes. And every time I would do my makeup, even for just a video or whatever, it was so frustrating to sort through like all the lip liners. I usually only like a nude or like a brown and I had all these random colors that I never use. Finally, so much more organized. It low key wasn't as bad as I thought, but sometimes you just gotta go through stuff, you know? And I feel like especially with Mercury retrograde coming up, I think it's the shadow period right now. If you don't know that much about it, I got a comment from a girl like asking me to explain it. We're for sure gonna talk about it on the podcast, but it can be a great time to like do stuff like this, like go through shit, whether literally you're going through your stuff or like I don't know, going through memories. It's hard to be a housewife now I have to cook dinner. I'm gonna start my pasta sauce, baby. Let me start this, because I want it to simmer for like an hour. Fire roasted tomatoes. I know, right? You know, I gotta have my kale, bitch. Dude, so I'm watching some <laughs> one of the plug vlogs from, I think this is like 2017, but it just really, brings me back. Just because this was around the time that I moved to LA and I remember watching her vlogs and just like being in LA and like experiencing all the LA stuff for the first time and like watching her. And I feel like these days sometimes I forget I live here because I'm just like, like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not like experiencing it. I don't really leave my little bubble. I don't really leave my apartment that much, which is good. That's what we're supposed to do, but it's just like, Damn, like, I forgot. It's making me so nostalgic. But also, I feel like when I lived in Hollywood, actually, I don't know. I think it was just like when we could go out. Cause I was gonna say it felt more like I lived in LA because I was like, like in Hollywood, there's more people who like are influencers or wanting, or they're, they're actors, people who move to LA like for a purpose. And I feel like where I live now, it's a lot of like business people, older people. My old building was so full of young people. And then this building, it's like, most people are older. Like, obviously there's young people, but different demographic. Um, but yeah, but then it's like, I would still go to Hollywood. I would still like go places living here when stuff was open. Anyway, hope that makes sense. But feeling real nostalgic right now. Like, it's just crazy. It's like, they're at this mall right now and she's like, oh my God, it's so crazy. And just like all the people, no masks, just so many people in a space at once. It's like, the fact that we didn't even have to like think about that before. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my kale. I might have more pasta, but I might not because I low-key want an ice cream. Oh. It's been like this for a while and it would piss me off because like, I'm thinking of the song, Bitch, I'm on grind mode. And this just reminds me of like, it is your birthday. You know, like I am on grind. <laughs> it didn't really give me the inspo I wanted, but whatever. It's time to change it anyway. Now every time that I see this, I'm gonna be like, true. Dude, I don't know if it's just me, but like, I've been getting self-conscious when I have stuff written in my house. I guess not so much these days because people don't come over, but it's like embarrassing. But I don't know, that's kind of cute. Like, it's just gonna remind me when I, when I walk by, you know? Anyway, I think I'm gonna end today here. Already looking forward to my coffee tomorrow. Damn, I'm excited, bitch.